pushed sandwich. Let's Smushed Sandwich. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the channel. This is a new episode of Smush Sandwich. How y'all doing tonight, beautiful people? What up? What up? What up? What up? Thank y'all for being here. And thank you for anyone who's watching this right now. And thank you to our sponsor, which is Pure VPN. Keeps you safe and anonymous online. Check that out in the description section. So tonight we're gonna to talk about basically this idea around build, build a dude. I don't, I don't know the terminology. Um, and if women should, should embrace that or should they do the opposite and get some guy who already is established with money, the house, the car and all that good stuff. Or should they struggle with a man if he has other good qualities. All right, so I'm gonna play some some clips from a video and I guess we could like go back and forth when y'all see the clips. All right. All right. Get your drink on, loosen up. That it is absolutely insane. Oh yeah, we hear it now. And extremely hypocritical for a lot of us women to go around demanding that a man have all of his shit together, that he have all of his money, that he have the nicest car, the nicest clothes, the nicest house, can take care of us and spoil us. And meanwhile, we turn around and don't have shit to offer this man in return but our vagina. What happened to sticking by your man's side and building him up? What happened to working together as a team to get those things? Why do we want the end product or the end results of that man, but we're not ready and willing to go through that struggle in order to make that man be what we want him to be? I am so sick and tired of hearing women oh say God. things like, I don't have time to work on a man. I don't have time to build a man up. I don't have time for these Bob the Builder ass men. But yet, you're a Bob the Builder ass chick. You want him to build you up. You want him to work with you. Oh God. So fellas, unless she is ready and willing to reciprocate that same energy and give you back those same qualifications that the she's same. demanding of you, Please leave her Betty the Builder ass right there on the sidewalk where you found her. On the sidewalk. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Ryan first. Nah, I know, I know, no, 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 I, no, 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 no. I really want to hear what the females got to say about this. I really do. Oh, all right, all right. I really so, want to hear what they got to say about this. Why are you dodging, right? We want to hear what you got to say first. Oh, you're going to hear what I'm going to say. I just want to, I, again, ladies first. Go ahead. Chivalry is in day. Go? Chivalry is in day. Can we, can we stop share so we can see each other's faces? Thanks. Oh, there we go. I want to see your faces for this. <laughs> You want to go first, Tiffany? Okay. I, I already shared this, but I'm just like, sus. Her approach is just like, and the lady said this, and as the video continues, it's just like a that pick me energy, you know? So, like, there's a phenomenon where they call women who like put down other women to try to get. Um, recognition from men, that's the energy that she's giving me. Because what I'll say is her, what she's saying is not completely wrong. At the end of the day, you should be what you want to attract. You should be having expectations that somebody is like, oh, and there was nothing wrong with working at Mickey D's. If that's where you are, you can't be expecting a baller or a CEO or whatever. 
and like you're not going to entertain anybody else. I think that people should match each other's energy. But just the her delivery for me was just a little bit like, can women can women be misogynistic? Like, I don't know, but that's what she was giving. Okay, Sharon. Okay. Yeah. Um, I so her delivery, I think, was very <laughs> it could have probably been a little bit softer, right? In a sense. However, I think that there was she touched on some valid points, honestly. Um, I think that there are women that do have very high expectations and they don't come to the table with nothing. And I agree with her in that aspect. I feel like both parties need to come to the table with something. So if a woman has certain expectations of the guy, I do feel like she has to also come with her A game as well. So I think that's what she was trying to say or what she said. She just happened to have say, said it in a little bit of a harsher manner. But I do agree with that aspect. However, I don't know if this is going to come later in the video, but she didn't touch on you know, what if somebody is coming to the table? What if a woman is coming to the table with their A-game and the guy is not? Like, should that woman really be willing to stick it through and help build him up at that point? But I guess we'll see what carries on with the rest of the video. That's my take on it. Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I mean, I, I I watched up to that same part until when Shorty started to talk, because I, I read Shorty's body language the whole time, and it was like, you know, I understood exactly, I felt where she was coming from, but, I, I, okay, for me, it was like, thank you, I appreciate what you were saying, I appreciate it, but I still felt as if, like, it was like a charity case in a way. It was like, a, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a piece of charity. Like, I mean, it, it, it seems as if like, okay, I'm not saying she didn't feel like, she didn't really feel that way she felt. She could have really felt the way she felt. That could have been very genuine. But and, and, again, it may be because of like her, you know, she didn't explain enough or what she, how she did try to explain. It just came across as it was like, he was throwing a bone. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really, it was like, okay, I appreciate it, but it was like, for, if I was going, if I was going to ask for a woman to, 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 to hold me down and speak on my behalf, I wouldn't have asked her to do it. <laughs> not her. No, not her. Probably not the shortest her. gave that, that poem at the inaugural address, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the direction of what she was saying, I'm with her. I'm with her because I'm not, no, the only thing is I'm not saying that a person's supposed to want to struggle. But again, coming to the table, if you know what I'm about and you know what I have and you're down and you're down for me, then yeah, it's like, yo, okay, this is the beginning stage. It's like, yo, at some point I'm trying to, you know, do a little bit more. You notice, I told you from the door what I'm, you know, what's going on with me right now and what I'm looking forward to and, and, and you know, going forward. But at the same time, I do respect a woman that has standards. So if you have a standard and you see where I'm at, if you're not with it, don't act like you want to jump on board right now and then complain later on about where I'm at. If you want a, 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 a baller or whatever the case is, then go get a dude that has it right now and can sweep you off your feet and you ain't got to work, you ain't got to struggle, he has everything together, and that's your, that's your standard. I agree, but there's something I want to add to that, but let's run through these, these clips first. Uh, so right, you don't get so to talk until we, we play all the clips. I'm the moderator. I, I have my opinion, but... We care about your opinion, too. I mean, I agree mostly with what Ryan said. I, I don't think necessarily it was a charity case, though. I just felt like... I think, I think her stance on everything is... A lot of women are single or are not attracting the right men because they're looking for something that may be too high. Their standards are too high and doesn't match what reality is, right? But, if, 
but I mean, okay, if if you have a standard, then stay, then 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 at least for the most part, stay there, stay there. That's your standard. I can respect if you have a standard, but don't like me today, and I'm not up to your standard, and then throw me in the dirt because of the simple fact that I don't fulfill where you what your standard is. All right, I got that. Let, let's play this next this next clip. Sharon, you mute. I hear Sharon, I see Sharon, you just right now seem like you monologuing. Sorry, yeah, I was mute. No, I was saying with Ryan, I don't like I don't really agree that that's what she was saying. I think she was trying to say, don't have these high standards if you can't even meet those expectations yourself, in a sense. I agree. I agree. I oh, I was touching it on a different side, but yeah, all right, right. right. Okay. Let, let, let's play this next clip though. <laughs> Is that she doesn't understand why a woman won't invest her youth in the struggle with a man. Also, if you go even further, the arbitrals beneath that, this is basically a video saying that women don't have free agency to choose whatever the hell it is that that woman of sound mind and body feels is right for her. You know, when I took my notes for this video, I thought about a team. You know, because she mentioned team in there. I thought about a job, right? And about whether or not a person can go in to run a company. Because you see, these men are not interested in being on a team. They're interested in being head of household, right? But are you going to be head of household in a situation? You know what? Let's get back to that in a moment. Because I really want to make this point. I don't know what she was about to say. I'm, I feel I'm, like I need to hear that. But her rebuttal is basically totally opposite from what the first young lady was saying. So I, I think um, I think she's going to go in a different direction. But then what what you guys said. Um, so let, let's just play that. Let's play that part. Are you going to go in looking to to run an organization one without any any without any oh I'm so distraught by this video I can't even without any track record of being able to successfully run any other organization so you come in there wanting to be leader or let's say at the very least teammate because I don't really hear men talking about they really want to be on this team they want a woman to follow but how do you how do you have a person follow who's leading you? We're going to talk about that towards the end. But listen, there will be some companies that will invest in you, that will build you up. And there will be some companies that won't. Like if you come in and you present your plan, look, this is my plan. This is what I have on the table. There will be some companies that will be like, you know what, we'll invest in you, we'll invest in your education, we'll build you up, we'll invest in your training. But there will be other companies who won't. So it So I mean, so far, I, I don't understand how her response is. She's To me, she's going in a different direction from what the young lady said, in my opinion. Most of it I think most of it, she was going in a different direction. I guess the, the the latter part of her point started to somewhat get to to talk about what the woman was saying when she started to be like, you know, as far as um a company will invest in you and yada, yada. She started to sound like she was touching base on what the girl was saying. But the whole time, it seemed like she started to make a whole different point. Yeah, because I mean, maybe I, I'm not hearing it right. I didn't hear the young lady say, oh, I'm going to spend money on this guy. I'm going to take care of this guy. I'm going to let him sit on the couch while I go to work. I didn't hear any of that. I heard be a partner to your man. You know, if, if at the moment he's not at an economic or financial uh, position you would like him to be, stick with him, encourage him through that process. I didn't hear her take care of him, pay his bills. So I don't know where she's going with the whole invest in him and help him go to college and I'm like what, what is she talking about can I make a point of she said how um 
she started off with saying how like it was like you know like it's a, like it's wrong for a, a woman to uh to want to have a um uh, 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 uh like she want to make up her mind like this is what she wants and I'm like, there's nothing wrong with if the fact, like my whole thing is if that's what you want, fine. If this is what you, you make up your mind, like this, this, this is the standard you want to keep. But the point I'm making is this. Let's say, for example, whatever, a man wants to now date a white woman. That's a problem. A man is not supposed to date a white, like a, a whole group of women would be like, well, what's wrong with black women? You, 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 you don't, you know, you don't want to date a strong black woman. You got to go to a white woman. Like, but if this is my preference, this is what I want. What is wrong with that? If a woman can have a preference in choosing what it is that she wants to have a standard, what's wrong with what a man chooses to, if he wants to date light-skinned women, if he wants to date dark-skinned women or, 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 or whatever, what's the problem? Like, why is it that every time a man has it? Yeah. Like, why is it every time a man has his preference, it's an issue? But if a woman has her preference, we got to respect it. Well, I feel like that's a whole different conversation. I'm only arguing her point. Because this well, is so, what... but okay, so let me get back to this is really important to say. I feel like the way we're talking about this is very theoretical. But the reality of a situation when and then I'll speak from experience because I won't speak to anybody else's situation. But I will say the reality of situations where a man is a quote-unquote Bob the Builder type man, I don't be finding that they have like a strategically defined plan that they can present to you that they can execute on in a timely manner. I feel like that's just oftentimes a lot of BS. Because um, I feel like if you really had a plan, you would be moving in the direction of that plan and you wouldn't just be you know, sharing it with me on paper. I think that, like, what I have to say as a woman is, like, there's a divide between men and women. I mean, we know that there's a lot of systemic factors that allow Black women to be a little bit more advanced in some economic and educational ways than some black, black women. That's just statistically speaking. But it's just, like, it's a difference between trying to be with somebody just based off potential versus being with somebody who is actually tangibly moving in the direction because you just don't know. Wait, like, can, can, I, can I just say something real quick? But like what you're saying is also like a hypothetical because it's not like they, they're they saying a specific type of guy. So even if you go with the whole Bob the Builder man, right? Who's to say that man doesn't have a plan? Who's to say he's not in the process? Like you're, you're, all, you're just, I'm saying though, but you're automatically assuming that he's not. I say I'm speaking from experience. Okay. So you're saying based on your experience? Oh, I mean, I I said what I said. I don't have nothing more to add. <laughs> what, do, what, what do you think? Well, can I can I say something? As far as the point that the girl was making, the initial initial uh when the video first started, as opposed to the 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 point that the young lady was making at the, her response or rebuttal. It seemed to be like it's two it's two videos for the most part because the the girl her initial her her, her rebuttal isn't consistent with what the girl was saying to start out to start out. So if I comment on what the rebuttal is, we kind of seem to be going off key. So, uh, what are we doing? Because I mean, we 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 commented on the initial the, the initial video, and then we listened to the response. And I know I heard certain things from the, the, the young lady in the rebuttal, and I'm like, even my response kind of like is going away from our immediate, you know, where we was going. But I think, I mean, that's the point. Like, the first young lady, what she said, I wanted to get a sense of what you guys thought about that. And then do the same thing for the second uh, response. Just making sure, because I don't want to be like, we going off, okay, we going off topic, whatever. All right, go ahead. You're on mute, Sharon. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to keep going on mute. Yeah, so I'm going to comment on the rebuttal. 
since that's what we're doing, you know, we're doing it in segments. So I, number one, I feel like her rebuttal does not answer or is not directed at what the original woman was trying to say. I felt like she was talking about something completely different as like what Ryan and, you know, Martel said. And in regards to what she said, I think that she's making a lot of presumptions because she made the statement, a lot of men are not out here trying to be a teammate, they're, they're looking to lead and that type of thing. And honestly, that is, from my experience, that is not true of all men. I think that there are some men that absolutely want a teammate, not necessarily to lead the whole relationship. And you can also do both. Like, I feel like you can lead in certain areas and dynamics of the relationship and you could still be a teammate in the relationship as well. Like, everyone has their strengths. So the people that have strengths in certain areas should be the leader in that area, right? Um, and of course, traditionally speaking, we're accustomed to men leading the financial realm and things like that. So I understand men being a leader in that realm, but it doesn't mean they're not going to take a back seat in other realms and dynamics of the relationship. So I don't feel like her point was valid and I feel like she's making presumptions. And that's right, my cool. take on that. So